Hello YouTube and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a vintage poster using Pixelmeter Pro. Vintage posters have a timeless appeal that can be both class and eye-catching. So let's get started. Let's create a new document, uh, A4 size. Now before moving on, uh, I would suggest you to customize your toolbar. Just press three dots and customize tools and you can drag and drop type tools, shape tools or selection tools. That will make your work so much easier. Now, first thing to do is to add a texture. So I have downloaded an uh, old paper texture. I will just drag and drop it. I will also leave uh, links to a material I used in the description below. Now, before moving on, I suggest you just to Google Retro Colors Palette and copy and paste palette that will help you to choose appropriate colors. So I'll just paste it. You will delete this layer later. Then I'm going to create a, an empty layer. Then I'm pressing M for a rectangular selection tool and choose the upper part of this document. Here we have our selection. Now I need to press B for brush. I have downloaded before a pack of watercolor brushes. So we'll choose one of them and select one of the colors from palette. Okay, this looks quite good. It doesn't need to be perfect since all posters never have been perfected out, but that's what makes them attractive. Now let's go for rectangular selection again and choose uh, the lower part of this paint and just go for a razor. This will give us an additional line just to style the poster. Okay, so time to add the first text. So I choose type tool and write a text. So here is our text. Let's go to edit, load selection and press on paint and layer. Press right mouse button and hold option and add mask. Okay, now you can delete original text layer. Okay, let's add another line of text. So choose uh, type tool, draw a box and write the text. Don't hesitate to use different fonts since it was a pretty common thing in vintage posters. Now let's go to edit load selection, then go to tools, select and transform selection. Let's upscale our selection and after that uh, choose painted layer and you can grab a eraser tool by pressing E and deleting the selected part on this painted layer. Now let's add event name so that will be cycling. For this I will choose not usual type tool but a circle circular type tool. I will draw very slight ellipse and I will write a word cycling. As you can see the text has a slight curve and I also changed uh, blending mode to subtract so the letters have a paper texture. Now let's bring an old image of bicycle driver. The first thing to do is we need to remove the background so for this I will choose Pixelmeter Pro background removal tool. Now what we need to do is to add the racing flags. We could easily copy and paste it from any PNG website that offers free PNGs uh, and icons of the flags, but um, let's make it more difficult and paint by ourselves. To draw a flag, we use a rectangle tool. Now I add an effect that is called uh, a checkerboard, which is located in generator. So I changed the colors slightly, uh, made them more muted, and I also can move tiles. Now let's paint another rectangle. Remove the fill option and leave the stroke. Now we need to draw a pole. So I can do that by using the same rectangle shape tool. And here is our checkered uh, flag. Now let's group the layers. So I will do this by holding shift and selecting three layers and pressing command plus G. Okay, so now I need to make this group into pixels because if I rotate this layer, you can see that the checker part is not moving. So you can do this by just pressing right mouse button and convert into pixels. Now you can see uh, tiles moving along with uh, the rest of the flag. Let's rotate the flag. If you hold shift and rotate, it will uh, use 15 degrees rotation. So you can uh, rotate precisely. Let's duplicate the layer by pressing command plus G. Right mouse button, I flip horizontally. I have two flags that are next to each other. And now I can group them again. I made another du duplicate and I can move it to the other side. And here we have our checker flag made by our, ourselves. Next, let's create an empty layer. Press B for brush and choose another watercolor brush and paint 
in any manner you like. Then move the layer behind below the bike. Let's choose a rectangle layer again and draw a rectangle. Fill it with color. And now let's convert it into pixels by pressing right mouse button. Go to tools, reshape, warp. With this tool, I will give uh, some sort of bump from below. Uh, so this uh, shape wouldn't look too perfect for this old poster. Now let's add a vector shape. So let's go to symbols and find this ribbon. Here I draw it, uncheck constraint proportions, resize it without proportions. That's what we need. Rotate it by holding uh, shift, duplicate it and flip horizontally. Now let's add a curved text. I can use the same circle type tool, draw an easy ellipse. And here we have our text. Let's uh, select it by going to edit, load selection, going on our rectangle and adding inverted mask by holding option key. Let's draw another text ellipse and write a date. You can add additional shapes uh, to make it look even more interesting. Now let's uh, paint the lower part of the poster. So what I'm going to do is to create an empty layer, bring it on the top, press B for brush and find appropriate brush. Then I choose rectangle selection tool, draw a small line and raise it. Let's add the text, load selection and create another inverted mask on the painted layer. So here is our more or less prepared um, poster, but I feel it needs some arrangements, so I'll speed it up. Here I made some changes to the positions and uh, scales of the elements. What I feel like is slightly off is uh, some colors doesn't get that well as I would like. So let's change some colors by simply using uh, blending mode. And I will also change the color of the stroke of this brush. Okay, let's create another empty layer and add some grain. Don't overdo it, but we'll add, add a subtle effect. Also, you can play with the colors of the paper itself. And now uh, for the final step, I would like to create an empty layer and add some uh, grunge brushes. So it would add some grittiness to it. Don't forget to play with opacity. So here is our final poster. For sure, there is a lot of room to, for improvement and uh, you can add so much more, especially using additional brushes, um, playing with colors and uh, going for um, uh, different fonts. Also, don't hesitate to leave a comment below and share your ideas of what you would like to see in another video. And uh, for this time, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.